our immune system, we have what are called nonspecific antibodies. They have, he called it broad spectrum. It's broad spectrum, um, low affinity. They don't care who is coming across. In this case, let's look at the other team. These are, let's say these are all variants of coronavirus. We've got the A variant, F, T, R, L, Y, X, okay? Now, it doesn't matter who gets the ball in this case. When we have nonspecific, anyone that comes across. So, let's say X gets the ball, running back gets the ball, comes running over here, boom, right here, nonspecific antibodies, boom, tackle, dead, not going anywhere. But let's say it's a different play. Let's say they decide, they, you know, we're going to run Y. So they run Y on a roundabout coming through here, boom, it doesn't matter. Nonspecific, we see the Y too. It doesn't matter. We're going to go after anything because it's nonspecific. It's brilliant. These are brilliant antibodies you have as your natural immune system. What if it's a trick play? What if they toss it to A and over here tries to get through? Doesn't matter. Bam! Nonspecific is going to go after the A variant too. This is how your immune system works and it's fantastic. Now let's talk about what happens when we're given a vaccine. All right, here we go. Go to the next one. So in this case, in this case, we're now going to move into vaccine-induced vaccine antibodies. As he said, they're long-lived. They don't go away. This isn't a drug that's going to wear off two days from now. We say, you know what? You had an allergic reaction. We're not going to do that drug anymore. It is in you forever. There's no getting this thing out. And what did it just do? It created what he called specific antibodies. Specific antibodies is now what we're going to discuss. So now in this scenario, scenario playing football, essentially... Everyone on the team has been told, you're looking for X. The antibody created, in this case, for the spike protein, the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2 that we first saw at the very beginning before there's any variants, our vaccine is going to make you fight that really well. So how does it work? Well, it's great. The coach basically said, I know for a fact that X, the running back back there, is going to get the ball. So everyone on the team, key on X. Great. So X gets the ball. Boom, comes through. It doesn't matter, man. They're all going to jump in there. Yeehaw! Yay, the vaccine's awesome. It totally sp it stopped the virus. Okay? But now here is the problem he's talking about. This entire team can only respond to X. It only understands that it's a specific, it's an antibody specific to the virus it's looking for. So what happens if Y gets the ball? What if the team, they, they know, it doesn't matter the coach said it was going to be X, it doesn't matter. Y gets the ball, Y comes around, boom, goes through here, can go anywhere they want. X does nothing. Boom, win, we're in the end zone, we just won, virus wins the whole game. Because no one on the team was waiting for X, was planned for X. In fact, they were told, don't go near X. I mean, don't, 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 don't go near Y. Okay? All right. But here's something that I didn't understand. I understood that. And we've talked about that basically on the show, not in this way. But it goes one step further. And this is what I think. Oh, I actually I did that wrong. Hold on one second. Boom. Bam. Here we go. All right. Here's what I did not understand about the immune system last week that I do now. When he says that the vaccine-induced antibodies are long-lived, it means they're going to be there forever. He also basically explains that they are more robust. The, the virus-specific antibodies, the specific ones, they're more robust, and they outcompete your nonspecific natural immune antibodies. So in this case, you do have some natural nonspecific antibodies in there that could handle any one of the variants. But the problem is these guys are bullies. They're bigger. They're stronger. They, they're more you know, specific and they're ready to do their job. So if Y gets the ball and starts coming around, our nonspecific antibody is going to want to jump in there. Unfortunately, our vaccine-induced is going to push this out of the way and become a blocker to make sure that that antibody or that, that virus gets all the way in and wins and gets the touchdown and could possibly leave you dead. This vaccine is bullying away your remaining natural immune system. You do have these, but they're never going to work again. Do you realize how horrifying this is? Now think about 
the hundreds of millions of people that are lining up around the world, that are lined up outside of stadiums right now because CNN and Tony Fauci just said, I love this vaccine. Well, Geert here, one of the leading scientists in vaccine and immunology in the world is telling you, everybody getting the vaccine is destroying their innate immune system. Those immune antibodies that were nonspecific, that could have handled any of those thousands of variants we just saw you, they're designed for it by being vaccinated. You just assured yourself that there are no antibodies inside of you to fight the variants. So if we have strayed far enough away from the vaccine-induced variant that we were looking at, the original spike protein, everyone that is vaccinated is now in horrible, horrible trouble. They're going to be attacked by variants, and their bodies will not mount a defense. We are talking about carnage like we've never seen. He's going to get into more detail.